Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are at in the world. It is time for some new League leak stuff coming from my channel, I guess specifically, and also covering today's, which is November 8th. Covering the new League leaks, teasers, reveals, whatever you want to call them. Sorry, I have been a little, again, a little bit out of the loop. Um, really, apart from this first teaser, these have not been, in my opinion, good enough to really make a full video over. And I'll be honest, uh, my most popular video, if some of you guys don't know, is a leagues for like discussion, breakdown, like whole route discussion. Basically, it covers like the paths I'm going to do or the paths I'm thinking about doing and why I think about doing them. I plan on doing that again now that we have some information on what is going to be our tier two relic. No, tier three relic. Well, it will probably be the tier three relic our combat relics. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at this. So uh, I'm gonna not play the sound so I don't get copyrighted here, but, uh, and I will pause these. <clears throat> uh, we have Archer's Embrace, Brawler's Resolve, and Superior Sorcerer. Uh, okay, so descriptions are actually down here. So. Magic Weapons, uh, Superior Sorcerer, which, by the way, I've heard the most talk about how people are going to go magic and magic's going to be super overpowered. Uh, people people are actually really happy about this because they feel like magic underperformed in the previous leagues, which, I mean, in all honesty, everything's broken. But anyways, let's read this. Superior Sorcerer, Relic Effect. Magic weapons with attack speed 4 or above have this stat halved, rounded down. So now 5 tick weapons, if they get cut to 2.5, they are now going to be 2, which is very good. That means that technically if you have a 4 tick weapon versus a 5 tick weapon, majority of the time you're going to want to choose the 5 tick weapon because it's just going to be better. It's faster, you get more value out of your tick to power ratio. Um, most weapons are made 5 tick because they are more powerful. So, anyways, having that as a 2 tick now, pretty cool. Magic weapons with attack speed 3 or below have the stat halved, rounded up. So now a 3 tick weapon would be a 2 tick weapon. Um, which, I kind of hate that, but again, whatever. Um, you save 90% of your runes when casting spells. This is very good. This includes charges when using powered staff such as Trident of Sea, Trident of Swamp, Sanguinesi Staff, Tumican Shadow, and the Enchanted Slayer Staff. Blind spells will always hit on an unfrozen target. This is actually so good. Um, acquire the Arcane Grimoire, which allows you to change between any spell books you have unlocked. Must be at a bank to obtain the item. Now, I don't... I don't know. I mean, like, okay. So obviously there, you have to be at a bank to use it, but it says to obtain the item. I don't know why they would just say obtain the item. Oh, my bad. Uh, yeah, I don't know why it says obtain the item. Like that just doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, I could see that being kind of useful, and especially in certain situations where, like, maybe you f barrage something, you go to a bank real quick, you go back, uh, which, by the way, we'll talk about Last Recall here in a minute. Um, yeah, I don't know. Th this is a little weird, um, but I guess. Like, why not? Uh, acquire a rune pouch, so you odd inherently have a rune pouch. Uh, all rune pouches store two more types of runes, so base five rune pouches i'm assuming if you go desert you'll get six uh that's crazy by the way um magic tax will deal an additional 25 percent as splash damage to surrounding targets up to five additional targets this splash damage effect only works in multi-combat areas okay so that's i mean that's good doesn't break the game um magic accuracy magic accuracy is increased by 175 percent that's a ton Magic damage is increased by 20%, which is also a ton, considering, like, nothing, um, really, uh, nothing buffs magic damage. 
Um, and then they also come with the passive effect, which I'm gonna guess is like XP. <clears throat> Moving on to melee, Brawler's Resolve. Now melee, uh, I think was really good last time, so I think they've kind of neutralized it a little bit more. Um, melee weapons with attack speed four above have staff have this stat halved, rounded down. Melee weapons with attack speed three or below have the stat halved, rounded up. Immune to all status effects, including but not limited to poison, venom, and fire breath, with the exception of stuns and roots, this applies in both PvE and PvP. This is actually really cool. Um, I hate that like stuns and roots still apply. I feel like that should like maybe get minimized or something. That would be neat. Uh, that would also make kind of sense, uh, especially from like uh, certain like warrior traits in games and stuff. I'm not actually sure if it's like a D&D &D thing or not, but I know a lot of games have included how like barbarians have like a rage mechanic and it or like a certain amount of tenacity and that tenacity lets them push through sooner um anyways uh so with the exception of stuns and roots um 10 percent chance to deal a critical strike on a successful melee hit dealing double damage this is huge this is so huge and i'm kind of curious so I'm curious, right, if with Scythe, if the first hit crits, does the rest crit? And does all of it get, like, double damage? Um, I kind of forget how the Scythe works a little bit. Hold on. Let me, let me pull something up real quick. Oh, ignore that. Um... I forget how the damage works. Um, oh. I, I'm i so stupid, dude. I typed in Noxus Scythe, which is... Um, <laughs> which, if you guys don't know, is the, the RuneScape 3 Scythe. That's actually funny. I can't believe I remembered the name. Uh, I've not touched RuneScape 3 in, since 2012. So that's impressive. Um, each hit is rolled independently, both for accuracy. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, never mind. So it's not based off the first hit's damage. So, yeah. So this, uh, each hit is rolled independently. So each hit would have to be each hitting a 10% chance. So that's not that good. Darox, however, Darox sounds very fun with this. Um, melee accuracy is increased by 50%. Melee, ranged, and magic defense is increased by 50%. Now, this is also pretty cool. Um, I don't know if that means your base like defense or if that just means your stats in total. Uh, if it's your stats in total, I might actually still try to go for this build. Uh, if you guys haven't seen my... Um, I think it's my second most recent uh, video. I cover why I want to go for the wilderness. In leagues for i don't know if that's still the case now that we've gotten all these teasers however i wanted to do an unkillable build and uh if that is based off stats and not your base like defense i think i might actually still go for that because that's really good uh it would it would be pretty fun too um okay so that's basically it for melee moving on going to range archers embrace range weapons with attack speed four or above have the stat halved rounded down Tebow and like the Xerite crossbow. I'm actually not sure how fast the Xerite crossbow is. Um, those are going to be really good. Range weapons with attack speed 3 or blowouts of stat halved, rounded up. 90% of ammunition is saved when using range weapons. This effect sacks with the Ava's devices, resulting in a 98% ammo saving bonus, meaning that dragon, like literally dragon bolts, are going to be in just meta. Like you'll just never not use them. Effect stacks with Avos, uh, resulting in 98%. Crystal Bow, Chin Chompas, and Toxic Blowpipe Charges are included in this effect. Toxic Blowpipe Charges. Insane. Um, Enchanted Bolts have a 2 times boosted chance to proc. Also very good. Um, with the Candor and Hard Diaries, by the way. 99% uh, sure it's Candor. And with Candor and Hard Diaries, I imagine you can also get a little bit extra. 
Um, 10% chance that your weapon will fire an extra projectile, bows, crossbows, ballista, and most thrown weapons. That's insane. So if you guys never played uh, late RuneScape 2, uh, like almost RuneScape 3, there were a thing called Swift Gloves. Swift Gloves did the same thing. I think it was like a lot less. So I think it was like a 5% chance or something something it was a super long time ago i don't remember but that's a really cool thing to see again um i wonder if it can also proc like bolt specs and stuff because how it worked in like late runescape 2 is that bolt that was fired independently was incapable of spec uh bolt specking and i don't think that it could crit either um so like the damage was like limited a little bit, but obviously leagues are meant to be broken. So, but th this, this sounds really fun. Uh, range accuracy is increased by hundred percent as well, which also helps that 10% chance because it'll probably be an independent roll for a hit, but it'll probably hit. So that's actually very good to see. Uh, range sounds pretty fun. Uh, Mage is obviously crazy good. Um, I can see people just going like full magic just like complete full magic uh that that will be pretty fun um i don't know what i'm gonna do yet these are very hard choices uh so that is the tier three relics those are super huge however it's time to move on uh so undying retribution right this is a new relic uh, not sure what tier it is. However, uh, I'll let this video play out. Um, basically, <clears throat> it's uh, the Retribution Prayer, but like insanely buffed, and also you get to cheat death. Um, so I actually do want to see how much damage that did. 168 so it did 168 damage i don't know how much it can actually do but if it did 168 that's pretty good uh i mean that's that's basically it um it wasn't a huge reveal but the and it hits everything beside you so 168 damage um you get to cheat death the cheat death part's pretty cool if it if it like one shots anything that's like beside you, um, I'd take that mess to the inferno like just right away. I'll get, I'll get like a level fifty account and just go through all the first waves, just get to the end. <laughs> that would be insane. Um, they have a perilous uh, pole thing. Uh, I'll go over that in a separate video. Um, so here we go. This is a new leak. This is for the six. <clears throat> also, the, the caption is the whole world in the palm of your hand, at least the parts that you have unlocked. Relic called Globe Trotter. Probably going to be on the tier two. Teleport almost anywhere your heart desires. So basically, you get all the amulet teleport unlocks. Really cool. Um. Yeah, and then this was a teaser for the next one, uh, which we can just go ahead and scroll up here. Had a had some issues apparently. So yeah, um, as we can see here, uh, last recall is not returning. However, it, the crystal of memories, which is kind of last. The same thing as last recall is also returning. Um, they said the last recall relic will not be returning during trail razor reloaded. Crystal memories, however, has managed to sneak its way back in. Keep an eye out for a video that might explain exactly how everyone can come into possession of this powerful artifact. Um, thankfully, last recall is more than just a distant memory. We expect tomorrow's reveal to absolutely shatter the meta. Stay tuned. So, last recall is kind of here um they haven't actually released that yet however to talk about the tier one relics endless harvest 
We, we all know this one. However, these have changed a little bit. Resources gathered from fishing, wood cutting, and mining are multiplied by two times. All resources gathered by this relic are sent directly to your bank if you have space. Otherwise, they are placed in your inventory. Items which normally cannot be banked will be placed in your inventory instead, even if you have bank space. Tip, if you fill your bank with bank fillers, the resources, resources will go to your inventory instead. Uh, I actually don't know if this one has changed. However, moving on to production prodigy, I do know that this one has changed ever so slightly. When doing the following activities, all items are processed at once. Smel smelting ores, smithing bars, and making cannonballs. Fletching logs, stringing bows, and cutting bolt tips. Cleaning herbs and making potions, which do not have a stackable secondary ingredient. Cooking food and making jugs of wine. Crafting leather, uncut gems, glass blowing jewelry, pottery, battle staffs, and spinning flax or wool. Full XP is given for items processed using this relic. And there's a 25% chance that you will make an extra product, which will be sent to your bank if you have space. The additional product will also grant you XP. And additionally, crafting, smithing, herb lore, fletching, and cooking are boosted by a plus 12 bonus, which does stack with all other bonuses. So, very good. <clears throat> um, moving on to the trickster, the relic everyone knows. Uh, you will automatically re-pickpocket your target loot from pickpocketing is doubled and noted. Your coin pouch limit is multiplied by three. You will be given a Sage's Grieve, so grant agility XP that scales with your agility level while running. Box traps lure creatures faster. Loot from box traps is doubled and plane drives cannot break. You can burn up to nine logs simultaneously and you cannot fail actions for thieving, agility, hunter, and fire making. <clears throat> Pretty good. Pretty good so far. Um, I think I will honestly be taking Production Prodigy personally, especially because I know what comes next, and that is the biggest reveal. That is the reveal that we have for the day. Oh, by the way, bonds right now give you an extra uh, two to six days of membership when redeeming one, two, or three bonds respectively. So that is only lasting until December 31st. Go ahead and go and claim your bonds. Get this RuneScape player ship up some more and go ahead and cash in your playtime for leagues. Uh, also, the Rat King is here. I will make a separate video on that because I am in love with him. Um, anyways, today's video. Tag that one friend who will grow through a thousand other sharks and still die to Jad. We now have a banker's note in our inventory. Um, this is very good. Very, very good. This is an insane relic. I have no idea when this relic will be coming. However, judging by everyone that was doing this. So this guy is fishing sharks and he's cooking sharks. That's pretty late game. This guy is farming Renars. That's actually kind of early game. And this guy's picking up Snape grass. So that's like kind of mid game. Um, mining essence. That's early. Doing bloods is very late game. And this guy's in like full Torva. So that's pretty late game. Um, and he has an infernal kid. That's very late game. <laughs> um, I don't know when this will come. I'm some people. Of my some friends of mine they are guessing tier 4 relic I uh, it, it's tier 2 or tier 4 I don't know which I really want to say tier um, tier 2 because that would just make the game so much that would break the game so much more and that was also that was when last what last recall was was a tier 2 relic however this kind of almost like deletes the purpose of last recall like you don't this makes it feel like you don't have to get last recall and thusly that makes me think that it's going to be a tier two relic because it like instead of banking to heal get more prayer pods and stuff and then like going right back you just have it all noted in your inventory like this literally just deletes the purpose of last recall so yeah um and that is that is it uh the banker's note is insane 
Uh, whoa. Whoa. What is this? Okay, they just released the thing 14 minutes ago. Ah, okay. So I'm actually going to drop this in the description below. This is a handy little um, task for almost anything. Your leagues can start. Your league start can seem overwhelming. Thankfully, we teamed up with the old Screwinscape Wiki to reveal a selection of tasks early. Begin your planning now for Troubles are Reloaded on November 15th. So they have all the early tasks. They have all the tasks they have already. Um, for the first regions or like general regions, so these can be completed in any task or any region and also any region so they they just have all the have all these early ones um really really good yeah yeah so the these are the new ones uh anyways so without further ado that is pretty much everything i got today um the bankers that is crazy dude uh i honestly am not concerned about last recall now because i will probably be taking this that's insane and the fact that you can also note your loot is also insane um well uh i guess keep an ear out because within the next few days i'll probably be doing another video on either the rat king perilous perilous moon holes or a new league's discussion uh all that stuff is in the works right now so let me get to work and I will catch you guys in the next video.